Welcome to Vlogmas Day 5! My makeup is done, I'm about to dry shampoo my hair and then I can finally get filming and choosing what I'm going to wear to my work Christmas party this year. It's on Thursday, oh I've just got some really stunning options and I'm so excited to have a little dress up and film it for you guys so you can help me choose what to wear. I also like really impromptu booked in for a last minute fringe trim so I've got that 2pm today. Also today, tonight is my circus performance so you guys probably know if you've been watching me for a while i do trapeze every single week i've been doing it for about eight years now and every christmas we have like a group show at the end of term this year's theme <laughs> for the group show is barbie so i'll show you what i'm wearing for that later but first i'm just so excited to get all dressed up i just realized i'm halfway through filming these outfits and i've just realized i haven't told you the brief of the party so there's a theme and it is great gatsby 1920s sequin flapper girl style um so that is kind of the theme that we're rolling with this year a couple of dresses that i've purchased that don't fit into that category but they are kind of beautiful dresses that i love the look of that i feel like i would get a lot of wear out of in the future and that to me also is a great brief because i've been reading so many statistics about all the sequins that end up in landfill and just end up being chucked at the end of each Christmas season. I can't believe people chuck sequins away. Why not just donate to a charity shop or resell them so someone else can get some love out of them if you're not gonna wear it anymore. I sold my 30th birthday party sequin pink dress on Vintage last year and I'm so happy that someone else has got some use out of it. So yeah, keep that in mind. Also like secondhand, thrift charity sh stores vintage stores have so many beautiful sequin pieces in at the moment every time i've popped into a charity shop recently i've seen some really beautiful sequin dresses so i know that they're out there it just takes a little more of a hunt but th there's something really thrilling about going charity shopping isn't there anyway i'm waffling let's get on to the dresses so we have option number one this is from river island it's a full length maxi oh my god look at maurice in the background um full length kind of maxi style strapless dress with these silver sequins running down it i feel absolutely incredible in this dress i think it's so flattering my only concern is that i won't be able to like move around freely because i'll be worried about my boobies falling out and i want to be comfortable and i want to feel like i can like dance basically so yeah this is option number one what do you guys think option number two is another river island number this is navy it's another maxi dress with a really high leg split which i think is super flattering my favorite bit about this dress is the back i don't know if you can see but it's got kind of like a low back and a strappy adjustable strap and it shows my scars off which i just love with this dress the only thing i'm not a massive fan of is how all the sequins end here and it really emphasizes this little kind of bloated pouch that i have going on so if the sequins like followed through a tiny bit longer i think this might be might be a winner but sadly not for the party this year okay i can't wear this dress to the party because i know someone else who's wearing it but i think it's a stunning evening outfit kind of cocktail dress option if you have a special occasion coming up it is so sparkly and it has these tassels at the bottom so it perfectly fits the brief of my party i really love the low back i'm just a huge fan of a low back and this one ticks that box and it's sheer underneath so i don't know if you can see but it's got um like a built-in body like this and then the rest of the bottom half is see-through and you can actually like these are holes you can like feel my bum through that but because there's so many sequins and tassels going on you can't quite like it doesn't feel too revealing which is nice so this is a really nice option but one that i can't be keeping <laughs> i just had the hardest time getting into this and then realized i put it on without undoing the zip so i'm an idiot um but this is long sleeved black tassel dress it's absolutely covered with tassels the sound of this is mad and then it also has all the tassels on the bottom as well so this like properly fits the brief but 
I feel like it swamps me a little bit. I don't think it's that flattering. I feel like it would have done would have been better for me in a petite and maybe a size down. But there's still something I really like about this. I think it's very sophisticated. It kind of has a little opening at the back. Yeah, if you're a little bit taller and you kind of want your arms covered or you want to be a little bit warmer at a Christmas party, then I think this is a great option. The reason I purchased this one, by the way, is also because um, I have been growing my armpit hair out. <laughs> I've been growing my armpit hair out since September. It's been a really long time and they are full bush at the moment. You might have seen little clips of them in weekly vlogs or on vlogmas so far they are what they're hairier i would say they're hairier than g's or at least the hair is way darker um it's like super black and whilst i love them i'm still feeling not that confident about having them out in real life and maybe actually we'll talk a little bit about that tomorrow because i have a pilates class so i'm hoping to embrace my armpit hair wrap but yeah if i wear kind of sleeveless strappy top to my christmas party this year it'll be the first time that i'm like going out with my hairy armpits and i'm nervous i'm nervous about embracing that i'm nervous about what people would think but i also kind of just want to do it because i know it will make me feel really um empowered it is kind of like a middle finger up to society's pressures on women I'm feeling like we have to shave. I really don't want to have to shave my armpits off before this party, so I'm hoping somehow I can find the confidence to let them out and be free and wild and feel like I can lift my arms up at this party without um, fear of embarrassment. Oh, if any of you guys have armpit hair, have any tips on how to embrace it without when out and about, I would love to know. I think it's a, a very important topic because I can't be the only woman who is just fed up with the expectations that are put on women it's just not fair and this is my way of being like ch of challenging that this option doesn't really fit the brief but i love it there's something just so i don't know sparkly and colorful and also comfortable but this might be the most comfortable one i've tried on so far it's like absolutely packed with sequins and it feels so soft it's a really nice length and also the back is really cool it has these kind of velvet straps which give an open back illusion and i think is really flattering I d it doesn't really fit the brief though so i could either keep this for another special occasion but when am I ever going to get a chance to wear this? You know what I mean? But sequins are, I guess, quite 1920s. I'm not sure. What do you guys think? Okay, this is a dress that I have been eyeing up on ASOS for so long. I can't tell you how long I've been seeing this dress on ASOS. I'm really wanting to buy it. And this just seemed like a perfect opportunity to purchase it and give it a go. So again, it doesn't really fit the brief, but there's something about this dress I absolutely love. Again, it's so comfy. It has all these, pa like, what do, you, what do you call these? Layers, tool layers in this black sparkly silver material. It has the puff sleeves, which you can kind of wear off the shoulder like so or more of like a square neck like that so i like that there's a couple of different ways how to wear this i feel like i would have absolutely loved a wedding dress in this kind of style but in a white fabric i just think it's so beautiful and it fits me perfectly actually um so yeah if any of you guys again winter wedding would be great cocktail party i just think this is such a beautiful staple kind of little black dress that would fit so many different occasions and here's an angle so you can just see how sparkly it is oh i just think that's stunning so pretty this is a little asos number but one that i don't feel very confident in maybe it's the color i don't think it goes very well with my skin tone but also i feel like it's just slightly too long it would be better if it was kind of up there for me so I could wear it with the belt but still <laughs> I'm just not sure about this saying that I absolutely think it's stunning the beads 
it's so intricate and detailed i think it is an absolutely beautiful dress and then it also has all the beading down here as well very pretty if you're a little bit taller i feel like this would be for you i just don't have the confidence to properly pull this off okay and then i've decided to get a couple of tops because i have this skirt which i absolutely love I've had this for about a year now and it's one of my favorites it's from top shop it's sheer so you have to wear either like a slip skirt or some big knickers underneath but I just think it's so beautiful. So I purchased this top, which is a halter neck style top with all these glittery tassels on. And I think this goes really well with the skirt. The reason I love this and I'm tempted is because I would love to keep this top. I love that I could rewear it loads and loads. Maurice, what's going on? What are you doing? Um, I love the back. I think it's really flattering. Yeah, I just love how versatile it is. Sorry, I'm finding it very hard to concentrate because Maurice is ripping the carpet up. Okay, this is the final dress and I actually think it might be the one. I've taken my heels off as well, by the way, because they were really hurting. Um, it's this dress. <laughs> I'll leave a link to a double O. I just think it's so glittery it's so like it fits the brief it's got the tassels it's got the sequins it's comfortable i love how the sequins go all the way around and i can't express to you how glittery and shimmery this is i just think it's so fun and with those big heels as well i think it will just look so great so yeah let me know what you think what one's been your favorite it's got so many dresses to clean up now and um sort out i'm gonna start packing up the ones that i definitely know i'm not gonna keep but yeah i'd love your input on this yeah i've had so much fun dressing up this morning i can't believe how long that's taken it's taken about three hours because <laughs> i've been filming it for a reel as well but yeah what do you guys think of this okay making something to eat haven't really got anything in the house so i'm just boiling some eggs stuck some bread from the freezer into the toaster and i've got some really old expired asparagus that i've just stuck in the air fryer this is such a random lunch i've also got a really old avocado and i don't know what this is going to be like maybe edible may not be we will see so it's a bit of a a brunchy lunch and whilst that cooks i'm going to import the footage from yesterday's vlog so i can start editing that let's go get fringe trim <laughs> i'm so excited about this Fringe. Done. Got coffee as well from my favourite coffee shop, Coffee Box. Barbie themed <laughs> gym outfit. I can't believe I've bought this. I actually bought this on TikTok shop. It is a bright neon <laughs> pink <laughs> gym set. Oh my god. It does fit even though I took a leap. Oh my god, this is so bright. I mean, you couldn't, you couldn't get more Barbie than that. Whoa, that's very bright. That is like, you, you need a pair of sunglasses bright. Um, and it's also emphasizing the redness of my cheeks. So now I need to go and touch my makeup up. I am not confident enough to get on the train wearing something this vibrant. So what I'm gonna do is put some trousers over the top. <laughs> we normally end up going for a drink after our performance as well because normally our boyfriends come along to watch. So yeah, I can always just stick these trousers on top when we go to the pub, if we go to the pub. I've got to say, I absolutely love this top. That is a very flattering gym outfit. I'll leave it linked on my stories or on my TikTok, although Feels like my bra's a little bit twisted up in here. Yeah, I love that. That's so cool.
we've missed our train so we've come to Boots and I was just looking at um, hair dye because I was thinking maybe I could dye my armpit hair a different colour. I was thinking maybe pink. But I would need to I would need to bleach it first and I can't be bothered to buy to buy the bleach unless it's very easy. So hmm, maybe this will have to wait. I've lost G. I've lost him in boots. I just love love looking at them. I love looking at all the um, all the makeup, all the skincare. This stuff is great. Home, making myself a tea. It's eleven o'clock, but I'm so I'm gonna have a sleep tea. This one has sp spiced apple, vanilla, chamomile, and passion flowers, and it's really nice. Um, I think my performance went well, although it wasn't the best class ever, just because I felt so far behind everyone else. But I did it. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Barbie themed. I'll include some of the highlights in this vlog. Um, but yeah, I'm going to drink this and get into bed. And I will see you guys tomorrow.